All right, well, good morning, everyone. It's true that television hosts are prone to criticism about their appearance. For sure, but our next guest didn't let that stop her, despite the fact that she has a condition called Bell's Palsy. In fact, her TV show is the longest-running sewing show in North America. The art, we are thrilled to welcome Nancy Zeman to The Morning Blend. She's the producer and host of Sewing with Nancy, and now she's out with her new memoir. It's called Seems Unlikely. Seems, as in S-E-A. Yes. M-S for a sewing term. Nice to have you on the show today. Thanks, Nancy. Molly, Tiffany. Thank it's you great so to be much. on the yellow couch. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> First up on the yellow yeah. couch today. <laughs> what does it take, in your opinion, to have a television show that runs for as long as yours has? Flexibility, change with the times, um, just kind of be in touch with our customer, our viewer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about how you started your show because didn't you uh, start it in your basement? Uh, not the show, but, but your business. But right? business, I started yeah. in the basement. Yes, the TV show in 1981. Someone asked me to do a pilot for cable television. When people would think at that time, that's the cord that's holding your antenna to your roof. You know, <laughs> yeah. cable, cable yeah. wasn't part of our vernacular, and it was a good thing. And I didn't think, oh, you know, I have a paralysis. I'm not. Mm, but then I thought, hey, I teach. I'm not a celebrity. So um, learned to teach on cable 1982, Sewing with Nancy aired. Thank goodness there were only about 300,000 people across the country that had cable at that time. <laughs> because my so you kind of eased yeah, into it, right? Yeah, I had yeah. to learn on the spot. And then uh, one of the first shows that we did in our house was produced with one camera. 13 hours. Oh, and wow. I got a sunburn from the, you know, because the lights, you know, we had eight foot ceilings. Uh -huh. So it was a lot of crazy stories, but uh, it evolved. And when they, SPN, the satellite program network, a defunct mm -hmm. uh, cable network, put our program on Saturdays, then we started getting great response. Mm -hmm. And public television inquired about the program in 85. And then the program took off. Let's talk a little bit about the, the paralysis that uh -huh, you mentioned. Right. It's, it's called Bell's Palsy. Right. Um, when did you, when were you first diagnosed with it? What, what symptoms were you noticing? Well, I didn't notice because I was 14 months old. My mom okay. put me down for a nap. I'd had an ear infection. She picked me up and the paralysis came. And most people, a lot of people get this, but 94% mm. recover and then there's 6% of us who don't. So it's a cranial nerve that got infected because of the earache, and so hence I have the paralysis. And I guess if I had to have it, I'm glad I have it since I, my whole life. You've never yeah. known any mm -hmm. different. Right. And it's just on one side yeah, of your face right. and doesn't affect any other part of your body. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's kind of, it looks like a stroke, mm -hmm. but it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you had multiple knee surgeries, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could, I could have played for the NFL with... <laughs> Having seven knee surgeries, right? Seven knee surgeries? Yeah. Are they totally new knees now? I wish they were. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a few yet to go. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. I always think that some of the difficult things that we go through in life are the things that right. make us different from other people are mm -hmm. so much a part of our character. Would you agree with that? It gives you, if I hadn't had Bell's palsy, I think my life would be a lot different. You know, it caused me to dig deep. It caused me to persevere probably mm -hmm. more than if I had a beautiful smile like my sister you mm -hmm. know it 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 shapes us and we're given challenges everybody has a challenge they may not realize it but social economic physical at some time in mental. their life mental mm -hmm. we all have things that we have to deal with and the situation doesn't have to dictate us our lives unless we let it Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing that we all can take away from life is that, you know, God has given us this. Well, then how do we go forward? Mm -hmm. It's that resilience. We talk about that a lot on the show, mm -hmm. just being a very resilient person through all the struggles that you have. Um, how did you start sewing? 4-H. I was 10 years old and I joined the 4-H club. My mom was the really? leader. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so fascinating. Yeah, it's fun. It was, and you just loved it? Oh, it was a very tactile thing. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I thought, hey this is great. And it kind of got me out of my shell. You had to be in 4-H, you had to be in a dress review, you had to be in front of judges, you know, nervous as all get out. And mm -hmm. Did you make your scarf? Uh, no, but someone on my staff made my jacket. Okay, I, I, I don't, really? Well, that's one of my patterns. Honestly, I don't sew everything I wear anymore, but because yeah. now oh, it's a multi-million yeah. dollar business. You don't have to sell everything yourself. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Well, 
Well, it's wonderful too. One of the things I was reading is is, is what a you know a, a wide variety of things that that you sew and talk to people about making everything from quilts yeah. to home decor. Do you have a favorite thing to sew? And also, do you find sewing relaxing? Because I think it's fascinating people who mm -hmm. find cooking like there's a lot of pressure yeah. sometimes as mm -hmm. moms or whatever. But then some people love it and find it relaxing. Yeah, we, we try to show a variety of things on sewing with Nancy. So that if you're a beginner or if you've been sewing for years, you have something to, to show for. You can have that art and enjoy it. Personally, there was a time where I couldn't sew at home anymore. I mean, I just had had it because mm -hmm. I do it every day. But then I was introduced by one of my guests to landscape quilting. And it's Monet type of uh, using fabric and making quilts that hang on the wall. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do for enjoyment, give as gifts special wedding gifts or to a friend each year you know not that I do a lot of it but I find that relaxing mm-hmm well and you need that too you've got this wonderful book launch we want to let everybody know about mm -hmm. so they can come out and meet you get a copy of your book seems unlikely book launch event is going on from 10 to 11:30 on this Saturday the 15th um, and that's on the set at the studios of Wisconsin Public Television of the Sewing with Nancy show. Mm -hmm. That's on University Avenue in Madison. You can visit the website seemsunlikely.com for more information. And can people get a copy of your book there as well? Yes, and they should call to register or they can go to get the copy online. You know, they can buy it at the traditional online spots. If we can say names, I don't know. Nancy's, no, go ahead. Nancy's Notions, Amazon, mm -hmm. Barnes and Noble. Perfect. And yes, and Kindle as of today, and soon Nook and Oi. iBooks. Going Perfect. high tech, taking the sewing high tech. <laughs> right. I love it. It's wonderful yeah. that people can actually visit your studios to see where yeah, you do yeah. your show. Much like this, they love coming in and seeing the lights yeah. and the cameras and. The action. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on all your Thank success. You. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much.